Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the binary choice models and LPM section. Um, so it's essentially just moving a dummy variable over to the left hand side. Uh, so hopefully you have the university data again, um, rather than spend a bunch of time, you all getting the data, I went ahead and got that. And so there are a couple different binary choice models, the only one we're going to be able to do in Excel with the data analysis tool pack, it's called the linear probability model. And, and so kind of our objective is to so predict the probability that an institution offers a master's degree using the total number of applicants, and, and we'll interpret the coefficients, um, actually just one coefficient. Right, but so usually it's whether, like, it does, so I have in this column, I have, does the university offer a master's degree, yes or no, and then the applicants. So I'm fine here, it's now here. I'm like, well, I don't have that, right? I, I, this is non-numeric, right? The Excel's not going to do that. And so we need to essentially turn this into a dummy variable. So it needs to be, um, so for these linear probability models, we're going to say, like, um, one, if it's successful, so in this case, if the school offers a master's degree, and zero otherwise. So I'm going to insert a column here, and um, you can do it kind of however you want. Uh, we'll just title this uh, master's uh, dummy variable. And again, it's just a simple if command, so we'll do equals if, and we'll open parentheses. So if this equals, and then it's a word, so again, we're going to have to use quotes. And then we're going to comma, so... If that's true, give it a 1. If it's not true, give it a 0. Right, close the parentheses, hit enter. I right, double click it down just to make sure um, anywhere it says no, a 0. Okay, we're perfect. And now we can run the regression. Except, so our y variable is now a dummy variable, which is going to change how we interpret the coefficients a little bit. Um, but we'll talk about that here in just a second. But how to run it is actually very, very similar to what we've done in the past. So we'll just do data analysis. We'll select regression. We'll do okay. All right, my Y variable is the masters again, so masters dummy variable, control or command shift down. All right, my X variable are applicants total, control or command shift down, hit enter, we'll do okay. Ah, I put it on a new worksheet, I bet. Oh, maybe I didn't. Let's do that again, my apologies. Regression. Um, put it in H47, I don't know why I did that. Let's put it, um, let's try it again, and let's put it in E. Let's talk about it. Okay, so a couple of things I want to go here. So again, remember, we're now predicting right, whether or not a school offers a master. So our predictions should be between 0 and 1. So um, I like to talk about this first because a lot of people just see the standard error. They're like, wow, that's really small. But if my potential outcomes are between 0 and 1, that 0.36 is really large. And so um, how I, I generally interpret this would be like, uh, on average, uh, let's say our let's, let's say our predictions from this model are off by an average of, and we're going to be talking about differences in percent. So how far away, like how big a mistake it is, and so we'll multiply this by a hundred, are off by an average of thirty six point five zero five um, percentage points. Yikes, right? That's really, really big. So this model is not very accurate. A lot of people see this and like, oh, it's really small. That model's really accurate. You can kind of confirm, like, look how small this, this R squared is and adjusted R squared. So there's kind of the indication here. And then um, how I would interpret this coefficient. So two things. Um, if our data is set up as 1 and 0, which is most of the time what we do, um, I'm going to have to always, when interpreting, right, multiply right, the coefficient. Oops by 100. If on the other hand maybe you set this up as uh, 100 and 0 and then ran the regression this way, um, it, well, you wouldn't have to do it but because most of the times we do it this way, you know, I just did undo, um, we're going to have to multiply the coefficient when interpreting it. And so um, how I would interpret this, I would say as the number of applicants increases by one person, um, the, this is where it kind of is new, the probability that a school offers a master's, I'll go to the next slide here, um, shift in, I think, that's not what I wanted, I wanted all finger, um, so it's positive, we'll say increases by, and we can do 8.12, um, e to the negative 04, because again we multiply it by 100, and again we're talking change in probability, change in percent, so this will be percentage points. Right, we'll hit enter. Oh, I 
hate that. It looks terrible. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it that way anyways, actually. Let's, uh, I'll do a little cheat trick here. I'll go to home. Let's do um, unwrap the text. Um, yeah, something like that. Let's see how I do this. I'm just going to cut this. I apologize. Let's see. Percentage points. And again, on the end, don't forget, I guess, um, on average and all else constant. I think that that's good enough. Um, ah, keep messing it up. I'm sorry. All right, so a, a couple of things here. First off, one applicant is not very many. So again, you might want to adjust this. So I might say as the number of I hate that it's going to write so on so applicant applicants increases by uh, let's say a thousand people uh, let's do let's see yeah let's do a thousand we'll do a thousand people the probability that I'm shorthanding here that a school offers a master's increases by, so you can write um, 8.12 e to the negative 1, or I would just go write uh, 0 0.81 um, percentage points right on average in all else constant. Or I would go, I hate that it's doing that. All right, so again, just to make it more realistic, um, that one person app applying is super small, and it's hard to, for most people to understand that number. Um, the big weakness, and the last thing I'll talk about is, is this. Um, so first off, if you do plug things into this model, it'll be the percent chance that you get. So let's say I'll make a prediction uh, with 10,000 um, observations, so two, or 10,000 applicants. So if I want to make a prediction, I would do this. So the intercept plus the coefficient times 1,000. Um, and again, you can do whatever number you want. Uh, uh, and so this would be, so how I interpret this, right? Um, this is a probability. So again, we have to multiply this by 100. So we'd say 79% chance of offering a master's for a school with 1,000 applicants. Uh, and you want to talk about accuracy of the model again, <laughs> we're probably missing a lot. Um, I wouldn't trust this model that great, uh, that, that well, but I wanted to show you. Um, the big weakness of this, this model is, it is a line. Um, and so, hence the linear probability model, if you're predicting a probability, it should, right, it should be between 0 and 1. Right? The problem is, this number is not bounded, right? Excel doesn't know that. It's a straight line. It goes off into infinity. And so what we could have is something like, so it looks like the intercept is 0.78. Um, something like, I'm going to hold shift. Like you're estimating a line that, that looks like, like this, where, um, I mean, at some point, uh, so I'm gonna, I'll do this all right here. it should be, over. Uh, if this is, and again, I'm just kind of messing around. Um, this, uh, this should be right. So this should be one, right, or 100 percent, right? I should never get a prediction above 100 percent because it's not possible, right? It's not possible to have 150 percent chance of, of offering a master's degree. And on the flip side, uh, it's not possible to to have a negative percent chance, but because it's a line, it will give us those predictions. Um, so that's why a lot of the times I'll talk about the linear probability model um, in unison with the logit or the probit model, because it will always give you realistic predictions. The coefficients are harder to interpret, but um, it's much more problematic. And so if you'll see what I, I'm saying here is, let's say I had a school with, um, instead of 1,000 applicants, 100,000 applicants. Well, okay, so about 100,000 applicants, I don't know, Ohio State or something like that, boo, right, boo. Um, this would say they have a 159% chance of offering a master's, all right? And so 
that's not possible. So that's a big weakness of this model. It's nice that we can interpret the coefficients, we can make predictions, but we always want to check um, for issues like that. And so uh, just something to always kind of keep in mind. Um, I hope this was useful. Uh, yeah, have a good day.